Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I just want to delve into the concept of ADPS. So for Bards, ADPS is one of the main reasons why we're useful on group and raid encounters. Uh, we provide a lot of damage indirectly, basically by buffing up the members of our group. Now, it can be a little confusing though on what applies the best ADPS in any current situation. I got a little example here. We are we are the only bard on a raid, okay? And these are these I got these four songs. I want you guys to think of what in what order would of importance, so number one being the most important, number four being the least important. Well it's the order of importance in terms of ADPS of these songs. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit to think about that. You can pause the video, you know, take a second, which ones are the best? And I will give you my answer and then my opinion on why. Okay, now that you've had a little bit to look at it, hopefully you pause the video if you haven't figured it out yet. The order in which these songs should go in here, I'll put them in the order that I think they go best in. Here's the order I would put them in, and the reason for that is because of how resists work and how uh, Bob's defenses work. So. Harmony of Sound takes the number one spot. To me, this is an easy number one spot. And there's a general guideline I like to follow with these kind of things. Debuffs are better than buffs. So when you when you cast a resist debuff, you are in essence buffing the entire raid's ability to land damaging spells or debuffs of their own. Right, so Harmony of Sound's gonna debuff basically all of the mobs resists by 59 if you're using the proper uh, gear and so here I'll show you that. All right, here you can see my resists. So let's just look at the fire resist right now. Keep you guys honed in on that. Target myself here. Now when I cast harmony of sound, you'll see that it'll go about 59 points when I'm using my drum here. There you go, 123. All right. So now you're wondering, well, what does that mean? Like, what does debuffing a mob's resist by 59 points mean? Well, luckily there's a nice little resource that I have found through some digging of understanding this myself. And the main takeaway you get from this resource, and I'll link the I'll link the web page in the description so if you want to pour over it in more detail you can. But basically the takeaway from all this parsing and spell data was that every one or sorry every two points of resist you get, you have a one percent chance of an additional one percent chance of resisting a spell. And this adds up multiply uh, additively so you know every two points you get another one percent so if you get 200 points of resist above the any school of magic then you are immune to that school of magic so if you have 200 fire resist and the mob tries to cast a fire spell on you and you are of equal level then you should resist every time there's some things that kind of change this when in terms of raid mobs and that raid mobs are higher level than you so they get a bonus to land and you they also get a bonus to resist so that can kind of um, wonk things up and he has um, you can look over that stuff he has a whole thing about how that affects spell casting um, now what a lot of people don't know is how powerful the debuffs on our dots are so let's look you never sing these dots for their damage I mean the damage is a cool added bonus and it's not negligible but um, it's not great either it, I mean on a typical fight depending on how fast you kill the boss you're gonna be looking to doing two to three thousand damage per dot you're using so yeah right it's it's it's, it's an added bonus really I think of it as a, a luxury to what it actually does so let's look at this All right, I'm gonna debuff myself with harmony of sound And then I'm going to boom. So you see a 99 debuff, 99 points of debuff right there. Now the and the even better part about Chant of Fire is that it is got a negative modifier on it. So you can actually land this pretty easily on a lot of different uh, mobs. And I'm killing myself slowly, so I should probably stop that. You can land this pretty easily on a lot of raid mobs, especially after the initial debuffs land. So like Mallow and uh, I don't know if the Druid one is unresistible, but you know what I mean. I mean that's pretty big. Um, 
that makes it so basically any fire spell is going to land. So that's that's why I think the dots oftentimes get um, underrated for how good they are and how much damage they can add. So if you think about, let's look at a graph here. So full resists, right? He was getting, he was starting off when this mob, this mob has 215 uh, cold resists. And he was starting off with a, about a 40% resist rate, it looks like, when he didn't do any debuffs to it. And so he slowly debuffs the mob. As you can see, these graphs are pretty linear. The, the little problems in linearity are mostly from just random error because he probably he would have got smoother lines if he had parsed for longer but you can see here so let's look at the realized damage percent this line right here and so it's pretty linear that let's you know from 100 to 50 for every 50 points of debuff we're looking at an increase of about let's see this is just a little bit above 40 and this is just a little bit above 60 so a 20 percent increase for every 50 points of Resist debuff. So if we go back to our example there, when we're casting our debuff, so Titan's Chant of Fire, if 50 points is 20%, then 100 points are 99. Basically, 100 points is going to be 40%. That means people's fire spells do 40% more damage. Let's look at Rizlona's. Rizlona's is up to 15. Right? That means anywhere from, I think it's 1% to 15%. I don't think zero is included. I think you always get something from it. That means on average you're getting about 7.5% increase to your direct damage spell. Rizlona's is not nearly the increase that Tyune's is. Tyune's is a much bigger increase if you're using fire damage than Rizlona's. Um, so that's something you have to think about, right? Like what kind of spells are going to be landing on the target? And a lot of times, if I don't see anyone else using Tyunes, I'll do it. Um, if, you know, if I notice someone's doing Tyunes fire, then I'll usually use cold because a, a lot more of the nukes are also coming from cold as well. There are a couple things to think about. One, right, only one person needs to sing a debuff. And this is why group buffs exist. Um, group buffs aren't bad uh, because only one bard can sing debuffs, right? Each bard should be not overloading themselves with debuffs as to not screw their group over, right? You share the debuffs around, everybody gets a little bit of group buffs and gets the benefit from the bard debuffs. Debuffing the mobs is often very underrated. Then last, I put War Song of Zek. War Song of Zek is another great song. The main problems with it are most of the benefits it gives you aren't really relevant. And that's something you have to watch out for songs. More songs X giving you 60% haste, it's giving you some strength and a damage shield. Mostly it's for the attack. And it gives, let's look how much attack it gives. We're at 612. I'm going to sing it with my horn. I have the best horn, so let's see what it gives me. Go to 8. Uh, so that's 12. So that's 60, 70, 77? Yep, yeah, 77. So it gives me 77 attack. Really good. Really good. Um, I think that's it's about 23 less than Ferocity. Maybe Ferocity's more. But it's a, it's a big chunk of attack, and it does have a, a decent ADPS increase if you're seeing it for people who can take benefit of that. But it's it's nowhere near the the benefit of a lot of other songs you're going to be singing. Um, it's you know it's it's a group buff that you slot in when you have room for it. So right, the strength is inconsequential. Everyone's strength capped. So you're not getting any bonus from the strength. You're not getting bonus from the haste, especially in raids because people are usually haste uh, hasted by enchanters. And in addition, even I have a clicky here, Symphony of Battle, that gives me um, haste. And it puts me at the haste capped, as you can see here, I'm at 10% haste. Um, Rizlona's gives you over haste, which is the main reason why you have a bard for haste in a group. Now, a little disclaimer about debuffs is that debuffs don't work nearly as well in a group scenario as they do in a raid scenario. Uh, in a group scenario, I would tend to say that buffs actually come out ahead on debuffs most of the time. And this is because of how different groups are from raids. In a raid, you're attacking usually the same mob for a long time, or at least 
the same mobs for a long time. And in that case, you have a lot of time to get value out of your debuffs, right? In a group, mobs don't live that long. And so you end up with the problem is that by the time I've casted all these debuffs, the mob's already down to 50, 40, maybe even 30% health, depending on your group. Which greatly decreases the value of these debuffs. You'd be better off just seeing buffs, which are up all the time, and you're always getting the value of them. Um, so... In a group scenario, debuffs aren't quite as good, but in a raid, they are, in my opinion, mandatory. And one of the biggest ADPS increases you can see. Just remember, only one person can use any one debuff at a time. So there's still going to be plenty of time, plenty of room in your melodies for group buffs. But you should always be contributing to the debuffs, you know, contributing to the symphony as a bard with singing at least at least one debuff, because oftentimes you don't need all four songs for a particular encounter. I can't really think of any in this Plains of Power era that I need four group buffs up at all times. I hope this guy, this uh, little video was insightful and helped you guys out. Um, I'll be kind of making a little series of these, just talking about one little, one little thing about the class each time, um, to kind of shed some light on some things that I think people don't take advantage of as much in my experience. Alright, see you guys later.